वेलकम बैक टू सेवन इंजीनियर्स यूट्यूब चैनल इन दिस प्रैक्टिकल वीडियो आई विल गाइड यू फॉर स्लेब रे एनफोर्समेंट डिटेल्स विद आर सी सी स्टेयर गाइज यू कैन सी एक्चुअली आई डेट दिस डिजाइन फॉर वन ऑफ माई क्लाइंट आल्सो दे रोज फुटिंग डिजाइन बीम डिजाइन कॉलम डिजाइन एट्सेट्रा सो लेट मी गाइड यू हाउ टू रीड स्लेब रे एनफोर्समेंट विद स्टेयर डिटेल्स सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्ट गाइज If you need house planning, structural drawing, 3D animation for any type of building, so you can contact me on this WhatsApp number. This is paid services, not for free. Guys, you can see first of all, this is X section of slab. Guys, you can see this is RCC column, and this is other column. Mean these are supports. So this is the span between two column. Suppose the span between two column is 20 feet. So if the span between two column is 20 feet so guys here we have l by 4 at this side and l by 4 at this side this is the distance l by 4 means l means span between two column span between two columns so this is called l L by four means so total span which is about twenty feet so twenty feet divided by four so L by four means this is five feet okay so guys here you can see we have main bars and distribution bars at the bottom so actually this is thickness of slab first of all so thickness of the slab is six inches so sometimes we are keeping five inches seven inches it depends on the structure load okay sorry. So therefore, guys, you can see the main bars are here. Uh, so the distribution bars dia is 12 millimeter with the spacing of 6 inches. It means, guys, here let me guide you in detail. So this is plan of slab. So here, guys, you can see these are spacing between two columns. Uh, spacing of main bars and distribution bars. So this spacing is 12 millimeter dia of steel rod with the spacing of 6 inches. C slash C. So this is the main thing. Next, guys, you can see uh, this is main bar. So main bars, guys, you can see we have crank bar. Look at here at the distance of L by four. Here you can see at the distance of L by four, or you can see at the distance of five feet at this place and five feet here. So guys, you can see we have crank bar to resist negative bending moment. Here we have negative bending moment. Negative bending moment. Here, guys, uh, we don't have a uh, crank bar at the bottom, so we have plane. So therefore, this is positive bending moment. This is X section. So both dia is 12 millimeter with the spacing of six inches. So when the load comes on the top of this uh, RCC slab, so when the load comes here like this, so why we did? So it makes a graph same like this, guys. You can see here. So here we have negative bending moment. Here we have positive bending moment to resist negative bending moment, or to resist cracks. There we have more chances of cracks near its support at the distance of L by four or L by three. So we are providing extra steel rods, or crank bar, or bent bar. Already you can see. So this is the drawing for RCC slab. Next, guys, you can see this is a steel. This is the section of steel. So thickness is here five inches. If you see the tread is here twelve uh, inches, and the riser is. Six inches. Okay, so the angle, if you see the angle is here around about twenty nine to thirty one degree. Okay, but normally in the staircase you can keep from twenty five to forty degree for normal residential building. Okay, but it should be not more than uh, my point of view, not more than thirty three uh, degree. Otherwise, you will face the problem. It's uh, difficult for. Uh, using uh, inside uh, any kind of building, guys, you can see these are steel reinforcement. Look at here. So the main bars in distribution bars dia is here 12 millimeter with the spacing of six inches. This is also 12 millimeter with the spacing of x inches, uh, six inches. Here also we have extra rods. Here at this place also at this place. This middle we don't have the extra steel rod. So this is a short video to guide you. how to read structural drawing for slab and also with steer details thanks for watching see you in next video goodbye